Aged and Children Pastoralists Association, ACPA, is a local organization established in 2008 by a group of pastoralists, intellectuals, and registered with the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, with registration number 0358. ACPA aims to support all Ethiopian pastoralists and agro-opportunistic pastoralists suffering from all sorts of marginalization, regardless of gender and geography. In order to overcome livelihood shocks, ACPA be set on the ambitions to improve their resilience through the provision of economic opportunities pertinent to their culture and context. Among the thematic areas of ACPA includes market and economic development, WASH, education and emergency interventions. Presently, ACPA operates in city, Fafan, Dolo, Liban, and Dawazums of Somali region of Ethiopia. The livelihood component is one of the most important sector aqua implementing or implemented in Chichiga field office. Resilience Innovation for Livelihood Expansion, RIL, funded by GIZ and was co-financed by the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, SDC. The chairman, bilateral organization called GIZ selected, you know, the two districts. They said we want to test, you know, the two districts, which is Chikchiga, South Chikchiga and North Chikchiga. The other project is called Resilience Innovation for Livelihood Expansion, called RAIL, RAIL, which is eight months as a pilot, and the beneficial also 2,000 households. We wanted to improve, you know, the people have, since there is a climate change, in order to become the people are resilient, at least to make some mechanism, coping mechanism. The objective of the RAIL project was to build livelihoods and reduce instability of the local market for the local product, such as camel milk. So we teach, you know, how to cultivate, you know, the improved seed, uh, forage, and then we provided training uh, regarding on you know the how to produce you know the for the improved forage. Also, the project was facilitated training on milk hygiene and sanitation. Also, project constructed milk collection shed and a milk collection center. Maybe you can see there is a uh, two rooms of you know the well decoration you know the. Uh, furnishing and you know, material we provided, you know, the aluminium milk cans, we provided saving, uh, you know, the cash uh, boxes. We also provided, you know, office furniture. Uh, this is the materials that the project is milk marketing cooperatives and uh, Rusakos, uh, rural safety and credit uh, associations, agencies. Uh, this is milk cans. It is five liter can, aluminum milk can. It's used to store and transport uh, milk. It's better in hygiene and uh, portability. This is 10 liter and there is 20 liters. This is also intended for saving. It will be divided or distributed among cooperatives. And uh, this is also refrigerators intended to give or distribute among uh, milk marketing cooperatives. 
This is also milky testing materials. This is alcohol, and this is a ladder, and this is a alcohol gun. You will use uh, this uh, two ml of this alcohol and a two ml of milk together. You will put there and you will shake. If the milk coagulates, that means that milk is not a good in quality. If it's not coagulate, that means the milk is in good quality. This is also another a testing material. Uh, it's called lactometer. Let me show. If the milk is added or adulterated with water, the tool will sink into the milk diva. If it's a good condition, it will remain here 25. If it is somewhere high here, like 15, means the milk is adulterated with solids like potash. The primary aim of the project was to promote and enhance economic and market accessibility in the drought-affected areas of Jijiga North and Jijiga South through supporting the reconstruction of livelihoods in the affected population and building their resiliency through providing in-kind provision. وحويان هيا دا عقب مركي اي نوطي مدي وحي اي نوطي قبطي اسبدل في عمبان كهلي حار سيغاني مكفردنا هاو هوري هاو في عمبان كهلي سي في عمبان وحنا لوغو قبط وحنا لوغو تاباباري ويلا نلوغو سيني تقمي دا تشيك تشيك اي كونفوريد قبل كفافاني دوية قبالي هاشبيلي العبدولي ولا ده. أول وحان عند ده بس كمساكين هو محان كده هاي عنا قرحة لا تيجون وسكر فاس ما هن. إيه جنا كرسال يوحنا لسيء قريان لسيء أدبلو في عنا سوليو أنا لاد سيو أدبلو في عنا مع لبي أنا لاوي له. سونا رس صدح بري سونا رنا لاد كاي. سونا راع تيلا عناها وحصو صار كذا. يعني سكاش تلا العقل وصلنا. يعني ولا لو أنا لسيء. الحمد لله أدبلو في عنا. سنوات عانها كبيها إياك عانها صافي قالوا بكرة ساري مركي عبيه كتيران عانها ويدق يساء لكن مركي عانه نظيف فيه إلا شن إلا بعتك يشوف سنية قلب كنا نوا قلب كي عانها دران كي ديدا أنكو كل بارد إن إياه وريبا قلب يا ركلا نوع مقر عانها دران كي هي إياه كو كلا كو كاي إياه قلب كي نرسي حقي سد ما كتعلنا إياه عانها صافي هنا إيجا وصافية وبكسر عليا. The first part of Resilience Innovation Livelihood Expansion was designed to be implemented as from January 2018 to November 2018. The rail project's goal was to improve the camel milk so as to transform into a profitable business, which in turn will improve the economic and social well-being of the targeted vulnerable households in those two waradas or districts. This has been made possible by organizing producers and other value chain actors in collaboration with the Somali region Livestock and Pastoral Development Bureau, as well as Somali Region Cooperative Promotion Agency. <laughs> 